Ginger, thank you. Crews continue to repair a section of the 10 freeway left damaged by that massive fire. The governor is expecting the freeway to reopen within a matter of weeks. KTLA 5's Carlos Herrera live now from downtown with those latest details. Carlos, good morning. Hey, good morning, Chris and Megan. And uh, the uh, repair work continues here this morning. So does that intense removal of debris from the area. You can see crews here uh, this morning. Uh, just to give you an idea of how much has been removed already, they say it's about 2,500 cubic yards of it, and there's still a long way to go. This, of course, as officials yesterday giving us some positive news out of all this, that this could be back open in a matter of weeks. Take a look here. Last night, LA Mayor Karen Bass and Fire Chief Kristen Crowley getting an aerial view of the damage to the freeway. They also saw traffic impact around the downtown area from overhead. Mayor Bass pleading commuters to stay on the freeways and avoid surface streets, which creates a miserable gridlock. Governor Gavin Newsom on Tuesday revealing LA commuters will have to deal with a traffic nightmare for at least three to five weeks. That's actually shorter than expected. That's because samples of concrete and rebar that have been tested so far are showing that the section of the freeway can be fixed without having to be demolished. In the meantime, the arson investigator investigation rather intensifies here. Cal Fire now reviewing surveillance video in the area, hoping that it could lead authorities to that suspect. The county DA also here yesterday touring the site. He says he's preparing for possible prosecution. This is like any crime scene, right? The, the, you want to protect the evidence and you want to protect the integrity of the crime scene. And the focus also shifting to preventing another blaze from starting, reducing the risks of flammable items uh, being stored in freeway underpasses. This is a fire that burned near the intersection of the 105 and the 110 freeways in South LA just days after the massive blaze heavily damage the 10 freeway here. Caltrans saying storage yards under highways are very common, not only in LA, but statewide. The city fire department beginning what it's calling a windshield survey to mitigate potential hazards, and that includes homeless encampments too. These are our specialized individuals that are fire inspectors. They understand the code. They understand their districts. They are actively driving their districts within the city to identify potential other areas of concern. And that activity set to uh, happen uh, throughout the week. This has Governor Newsom also uh, announcing that the state will be reassessing the program that allows uh, areas under highways to be leased. We'll send it back to you.